Hi everybody, I'm Audrey Golden. I'm a literature and film professor at Simmons University. I'm here today to talk to you about a four-week course I'll be teaching for the Coolidge Corner Theater this fall on Dictators on Film, just in time for the upcoming election. I've taught a number of seminars for the Coolidge in the past, and I'm excited to get a chance to talk with you all this fall about how cinema has been used to resist fascism over the last 100 years, and to consider the ways that movies offer filmmakers and audiences alike a means to oppose authoritarian violence, often in surprising ways. So although movie going certainly has functioned as a getaway from the lulls and pains of everyday life since the start of the 20th century, the theater has also been a site in which political resistance can emerge. When it comes to depicting dictatorship on film, Charlie Chaplin was among the first to imagine comedy as a genre through which to fight authoritarianism. We'll start with his film, The Great Dictator, and then we'll move into Ernst Lubitsch's To Be or Not To Be, Armando Iannucci's The Death of Stalin, and Taika Waititi's Jojo Rabbit. Across the course, we'll also spend time taking a look at films that reimagine, reinvent, and resist the Pinochet dictatorship in Chile, Idi Amin's rise to power in Uganda, and Putin's violence in Russia. So here's how it'll work. This will be an exclusive virtual four-week class that will begin in September. You'll have access to a lecture every week followed by a 90-minute discussion in which we'll get a chance to talk about the films. Although we'll be chatting remotely through Zoom, the weekly class meetings will allow for ample discussion time and engagement with each work of cinema. And if you end up having to miss a week, don't worry. The discussions will be recorded and available to you. Attendance is capped, so be sure to sign up quickly. Hope to see you all this fall.